well. I want to assure you that everything that you have been taught in these last three days, the Lord is going to make them useful for your life in Jesus' name. Amen. You are going to pray this prayer. Lord, I thank you for how you have helped me in these last three days and for what you have imparted into my life. Prayer in Jesus' name. That in the name of Jesus, I thank you for these last three days, what you have imparted in me, what you have imparted through me to your people. Lord God, I pray that Father Lord, you make it beneficial to their lives in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Before we close this meeting, I have a special announcement to make. There are these two brothers in our midst who are just joining the workforce of this church. Rabin and Brachus, will you please be on your feet? Thank you very much. These two brothers. You listen to their testimonies the day they joined the church. Since then, I've been monitoring them so closely. And I've seen their zealousness for the Lord. I have observed them. And uh, our men will be working with the technical team. <laughs> While Brad Chooks will be working with the Oshren department and the Sunday school department. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Before we pray the last prayer point, I want somebody to please help me check Hebrews chapter 6 and verse number 10. For God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have shewed towards his name, in that ye have ministered to the saints. And do minister. Amen. Amen. That is exactly what I have just said now. For God is not unjust. That's my final note. I want to implore you to see yourself as somebody working for God. Whatever you do in the vineyard, whatever you do for the work of the kingdom, you are not doing for Pastor Dan or for Pastor Dan's wife. You are doing for who? For God, the owner of the work himself. And it's not unjust. He will not forget your labor of love. It is my prayer for you that whatever your reward is, you will not, you will not lose it in Jesus' name. Amen. See yourself as somebody working for the kingdom. And your reward is in heaven. That is what the book of Revelation chapter 22 verse 12 says. He said, Behold, I come quickly. And my reward is with me to give unto every man according to the works of his hands. So the Lord is coming quickly to reward you. Pastor Dan will not reward you. Pastor Dan's wife will not reward you. None of the elders here will reward you. It is God, the owner of the work, that will reward you. Shall we rise up on our feet? You will pray this prayer. So God... Everything that you have deposited in my life in these last three days of the retreat, let it be beneficial to my life and my ministry. Prayer in Jesus' name. Yes, the church committee met yesterday to deliberate on your matters. And it was unanimously agreed at that meeting that one of you should go to worry in search of that your uncle who will follow you to beg your mother. Thank you, sir. All right. So, who amongst the two of you will go? Hi, sir. I know his place in worry. You know his place in worry? Yes. 
that is all right uh the church has prepared two letters that you have to tell take along one for your uncle and the other one for your mother and um apart from that elder rufus here will give you what the church has prepared to cater for your transportation to and through worry and uh when you get to worry make sure you call back so that we know the situation of things and get to know the phone number of your uncle. Yes. The Lord be with you. So, Uncle Rufus, give them. Yes. That is 10,000. Manage it for your transportation. Okay, sir. All right? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. Yes, sir. And, um, yeah. This one is for your uncle. Yes, sir. Don't worry. Right. And when you eventually get to your mother, that one is for your mother. Yes, sir. As soon as you get to worry, yes, phone us back and give us the phone number of your uncle. I will know his phone number. Yes, sir. Thank you. The Lord be with you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Safe journey. Yes, sir. God bless you. Thank you very much, Ella. Thank you, sir. Uh, I think this that we have done. That is the the Lord has come into the so, so let's wait and see what happens after this. But we believe God that this step we have taken now will go to so the results we gave you. Thank you, sir. Yes, hello? Who is this? Oh, Ben. How are you? How was your journey? Okay, okay. Did you see your uncle? It's all right. It's all right. Uh, the Lord be with you, okay? I'll be expecting you. All right. My regards to him, okay? Bye. My dear, which Ben was that? The same Ben that traveled yesterday. The one that left for worry yesterday? Yeah. Why is he just calling since yesterday? Or how many hours does it take to travel from Lagos to Wari? Oh, my dear. Anyway, he, he said he got to Wari late because the vehicle he boarded from Lagos had a problem on the way. And so he got to Wari very, very late and he thought mm, I would have slept. That's why he didn't call yesterday. Well, <clears throat> may God help you. Just be careful and be prayerful. I will. But, but why did you say that? I don't know. It's just that I'm not convinced and comfortable with those two brothers. I am not. Uh, Honestly. Don't, don't worry, my dear. Don't worry. Okay? All is well. That is the end. Let him take it. Uh, greet Daddy and Mommy for me. Oh. Yeah. Please tell them God will bless and prosper them. Amen. They've not done much for you now. As time goes on, they will take you and your brother like their own sons. And I will be very, very happy. Uh, well, let me have your number. So that when I get back to school, I'll be calling you regularly. I don't have your phone yet. But not to worry. Um, since I have your number, I will be calling you. See, I have two phones and I just have to get one for you. Yeah, you can have this. I have two phones. Take it. Just help me to remove the SIM card inside. 
Thank you very much. And here, get a new SIM card. After all, the Bible says we should be our brother's keepers. And that we should love our neighbor as ourselves. So get a new SIM card. Put it in your phone and then use it to call me. So that we know your number and I'll be calling you regularly. Oh, Sister Bonilla. Thank you. And uh, I will go and get the SIM card now. And I'll make sure I call you before you get back home. Thank you very much. You, 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 you just been too generous. Huh?